I'm sure a lot of y'all heard the saying from somebody, hey, if, if they don't value you, if they don't appreciate you, then you need to leave. Don't stay with that person. And there is no team that values and appreciates running backs more than the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, and Baltimore Ravens, that, that's why this, them signing Mike Davis uh, is just such a Ravens move. Um, they signed Mike Davis. They have, of course, J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards coming back. Uh, Justice Hill as well. They drafted uh, Beatty. They also tendered Tyson Williams. You still got uh, Nate McCrary as well. So they have a, a lot of running backs on the roster. But I, I can't be too mad because they're doing what we always talk about, right? Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Uh, and this is just another edition of that. Now, a lot of people been talking about, oh, man, these Ravens, the way that they build in the roster, the way that they build in the offensive line, the way they got all these tight ends right now. They seem to be going back to 2019. It seems like they want to get back to that style of play, that style of offense. Well, them signing Mike Davis. That solidifies it, right? That, that pretty much confirms that, all right, Ravens are going back in time to 2019 to try to replicate that offense. Hopefully it doesn't have the same outcome in the playoffs that it did. But anyway, um, because Mike Davis, when you watch him, at least in my eyes, what I saw from the way that he runs, that ain't nothing but Mark Ingram. He ain't nothing but Mark Ingram. He, he really reminds me, he, the way that he runs that football, he reminds me of Mark Ingram. Just a... <laughs> <laughs> Just a thicker thigh version of Mark Ingram. Um, cause you know, like Mike Davis, the, that thigh master, that's all he is, man. That's all he is. All day, every day. You think Saquon Barkley got something on him? Nah, Saquon look like he look anorexic compared to Mike Davis, at least in the thighs, man. But anyway, I don't wanna be sitting here talking about this dude's thighs the whole video. Mike Davis um was recently released from the Atlanta Falcons. And when you look over the course of his career, um, he has always been a complimentary back. He's always been a supplemental back. He hasn't needed to be the guy. Uh, he's been one of the guys, though. Um, he spent some time uh, in San Francisco, in Seattle, uh, in Carolina, in Chicago, and, and then, oh, and then in ATL, of course. Uh, I see that he... Um, Oh, that was 2019 where he, he spent time with multiple teams. But anyway, um, and, and the most yards that he's ever run for has been 642. And that came in 2020 uh, with the Panthers. So, and then that was his most productive season. He had 165 yards. Uh, I'm excuse me, 165 carries for 642 yards uh, and six touchdowns. But. He, he's only scored throughout his career 14 total touchdowns. He has 2,034 yards, uh, 550 carries. So it's not like, even though he's been around the league since 2015, so he's been around for a little while, uh, seven years, he does not have a lot of wear and tear on him. Uh, so that is not anything that we will need to worry about when it comes to one Mike Davis. But again, his, his running style, it really does remind me of Mark Ingram. Low to the ground. Um, he And he's... He's not shifty, but he's good at stopping. He, he got real good control of when he stops and then cuts. So it's kind of like, like a less shifty Gus Edwards. Um, but yeah, he's a very precise cutter and, and stopper as a running back, in my opinion. Um, what he brings to this offense, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh yeah, he's oh, he just going to be a camp body. He's just going to be a camp body. He's just going to be there while uh, J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards and Justice Hill, as they recover. That, that's all he's going to be doing. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Because, again, we did mention they, they did draft uh, Beatty. Um, so they got yet another running back. So it's, it's going to be a lot of competition in that running back room. It is going to be a lot. Um, that running back room is packed right now. But I think the Ravens. Um, they, they really want to just learn from their mistake, even though I can't fault them for what happened at running back. Like, I, I, I can't fault them for, because we always talk about stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But the Ravens last year at every position besides offensive line, uh, but at every position, they were ready. Like these dudes, they were ready. They had nice 
starters and they had quality depth all across except offensive line <laughs> but all across the board all across the roster they were ready but then when injuries hit it just uh is ugly and of course as we all know those injuries literally, literally never stopped from pre even before preseason from off season through the end of the regular season the injuries literally never stopped but um the ravens are taken last year and they're like hold up no 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 we are going to be overprepared. Well, at certain positions, wide receiver, let's see what they do there. But we are going to be overprepared, and we are going to get an excess amount of players at different positions to where we are ready. We are staying ready so we don't have to get ready. And running that running back room, all them dudes probably in the room looking at each other like, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right now, okay, boy, I see y'all. It's going to be some competition, man. It is going to be some fierce competition. Um, but I, if they're really going back to that 2019, which all signs are pointing to, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they kept four running backs. Would not be surprised. Now, um, who would that be, though? Obviously, J.K. and Gus. And you obviously, you, you hope first and foremost that they, um, they start the season off both healthy. Uh, and it seems like all signs are pointing to that, but we won't know till we know. And, and we do not want to assume at all. Can't assume anything. Ravens assumed with Ronnie Stanley last year. Look what happened. Ravens assumed with Nick Boyle last year. Look what happened. Ravens assumed with Derek Wolf last year. Look what happened. So you, you, you cannot assume that somebody is going to be ready. And even if you just never know. As last year definitely gave us a nice little reminder. You never know. So with this signing again, I'm 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 cool with it. I I would I wouldn't think that it would be uh, that that's the only big the big question now. How much is it for? What what's the the, the details of Mike Davis's contract? Because I don't think it's come out yet. Um, no, it, it hasn't. Uh, but yeah, I. What are the details? Like, if this, if the details are, like, it, it can't be anything crazy. It can't be anything crazy. I, I'm thinking probably, like, maybe a million dollars. Maybe a, it reaches, like, two mil or 2.5 mil with incentives, something like that. Uh, I would probably think, like, maybe, like, a, a two-year deal so they could stretch out the cap. But nothing crazy. Not, nothing crazy, nothing too wild, anything like that. I think a two-year deal with all the guarantees in the first year, so there's no guarantees in the second year, or it's minimal guarantees in the second year. So they really want to make it a one-year deal, but they don't want to make it an actual one-year deal because of the cap. Um, so, cause you know, Ravens, they don't, they're not doing the whole cash over cap. They're doing the cap. That's it. We stick into that. We ain't going above our means. Uh, okay, Ravens, cool, cool, cool. Do what you do, baby. So, yeah, Mike Williams is, I mean, not Mike Williams, Mike Davis uh, is a Raven. So, shout out to the people that make the jerseys. That shouldn't be a, a hard jersey to make. All you got to do is put Davis on the back or M. Davis or something like that. I feel bad for when they had to put uh, Thibodeau uh, or even for the Ravens themselves, like Matt BK and um, who else? Like, they, they, got, they got some tough names, man. But shout out to them and shout out to uh, what their names mean and what it represents with their families. So and that and that name on the back of the jersey says, hey, look, I done made it. Anyway, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Uh, and I know y'all will already, but let me know what you think this means for the Ravens as far as Mike Davis being the new Baltimore running back. So appreciate y'all. Love y'all. We out.